Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jing and Monica, and we are your sub couples for Friday um, for a couple gays. Mm -hmm. And Tina and Cassie, congratulations to them! They had a lovely, healthy little boy, and uh, we will be subbing for them until they get back. Mm -hmm. So they will have lovely family time. This week's topic is um, celebrities um, being out or coming out. Does it hinder their career or um, or does it? Mm -hmm. Does not? Or does it? Actually, yeah. we've been back and forth on it. For yeah, the past couple of days. And then we've been watching everyone's videos, um, and just listening to what everyone says. And it's it's hard because everyone comes up with the good people, like mm -hmm. Ellen. Um, Neil Patrick Harris, mm -hmm. um, Ellen was the biggest one, obviously, so, um, she got a little bit of both, like, it hurt her, and then all of a sudden, like, she came back with years the vengeance. later, and, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she got support from the advertisers that had actually dropped her, uh -huh. so, I mean, it all came around full circle, which is good for her, mm -hmm. and then Kat and Amy did talked about Ricky Martin, and that's, mm -hmm. like, the most recent one that actually, uh, biggest one mm -hmm. and we started talking about all the, like the music stars that have come out and it hasn't seemed to really hurt them like Lance Bass. Lance Bass yeah yeah he tried to go to space and everything <laughs> <laughs> so. he's still in the music business he's doing more what like I think managing and stuff yeah something like that he's working with the Kardashians yeah with Kris Jenner yeah so the Kardashians. um so, also, we were waiting for someone to bring up Angelina Jolie. Mm -hmm. So, another, she's an A-lister, and back in the day, when she was first upcoming as an mm -hmm. actress, she was actually dating a, a model. Mm -hmm. What was her name? She's a musician. I don't, I don't They were know. in that movie together. <laughs> was it uh, Firefox? Yeah, Firefox. Firefox. That movie came out in, like, the 90s or yeah. something. And she was just... <clears throat> confident with it she didn't she actually made a down. movie she yeah. played um Gia mm -hmm. who was a famous oh famous lesbian or bisexual bisexual model mm -hmm. back in the 80s if you haven't watched it, it's a really really good movie movie it's like the same no <laughs> <laughs> hey you know well, and, I should the and then you know um I don't know how true this is, but she also stated that she refused, Angelina Jolie refused to get married because, um, gays. Until they were equal, yeah. right? Yeah, but until they, they were equal, she's right. planning a wedding, so. I don't know. Monica watches E! News yeah, a lot. Yeah, so, Yeah, we don't watch TMZ or anything, so. Um, but yeah, Angelina Jolie, she was one of the biggest, you know, that I've seen, obviously, especially with GN and the rumors were actually not the rumors. It was actual. Mm -hmm. It was open. They were open with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the biggest ones that I have thought about when I first started thinking about this topic is, um, I'm not sure if anyone knows who Frank Ocean is. Frank Ocean, he actually is um, a rapper. And he's worked with artists as far as like Drake. Um, he wrote music for a lot of famous act, uh, rappers nowadays. And he just actually put out a Twitter statement about a month ago saying that he was bisexual. And no, it did not, you know. He did it like close to his album release. Too. Yeah, I think like, it was, didn't... did it for hype. So mm -hmm. a lot of people probably do it for hype. Mm -hmm. Just to have someone talking about them while something comes out. Yes, yeah, like Alan Lambert. Mm -hmm. he's you know he got outed by what like a photo I think and he just owned up to it he didn't try and deny it he, I think that if they're more confident with it 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 doesn't affect their career if they start getting like scared and shy about it that's when people start asking questions and talking but if they just say yeah I'm out so, yeah just like Chanel like... and Carrie were talking about on Monday <laughs> yeah. like just come out with it mm -hmm. just just do it just yeah. make it something normal like don't yeah. make it something it even has to be like a huge statement. Just be like, "Yeah, I'm gay." Yeah, so it should be something normal. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm straight. So, uh, yeah. So just making it a normal, everyday part of life, I think, will make it easier not only on celebrities but everyone else in their like careers. And it's just, yeah, yeah. So even like 
at my workplace. It's, you know, the work I'm in, the retail that I'm in, that you have to be in as far as, like, pop culture, the new styles. Um, you know, I asked my associates, you know, when, I mean, when, when Frank Ocean came out, didn't have a problem with it. He, he wrote really good music and produced really good music, and they still listened to him. And they didn't seem... It's like a younger yeah, generation. The younger generation yeah. doesn't seem... They don't care if you're, if you're gay care. or straight. They I don't think care it helps their career mm -hmm. if they are gay and or, you know, probing or whatever. I think it does help mm -hmm. their career. It doesn't hinder it. It definitely gives it a boost. Mm -hmm. It does a lot of talk as far as, like, media. Mm -hmm. And nowadays it's all about social media and who's, you know, the topic of whatever. So mm -hmm. Twitter, Facebook, you know, it's... I think if you do come out, it's going to definitely help either your ratings, your mm -hmm. movies, mm -hmm. um, music. So... Mm -hmm. What else we had to we 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 brainstormed um okay. Rosie O'Donnell. She kind of fell off, but it's not like she still had like a successful talk show with mm -hmm. being out though. I mean that show was on for quite a few years. So and she was out. Um, Melissa Etheridge we thought about mm -hmm. her. I mean, she's still on tour and still selling albums. She's been out forever. So definitely didn't affect her career. Mm-hmm. We we were uh, Wanda Sykes. That's oh yeah, the other one, comedian, yeah. famous comedian. She's been around for a while, mm -hmm. and I think I remember her watching a stand up show like back in the day that was posted on YouTube, and um, she was talking about her just gay marriage or whatever, and she was just like, "Who cares?" You know, and that was before I think she was even out. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, Wanda Sykes. Um, Chaz Bono. Chaz Bono. Mm -hmm. Dancing with the Stars. I think that. But I don't think he's a celebrity. Yeah. Well, now he is. Right? Well, it like boosted his. But there was that whole status. controversy about him, or, well, she changing into you know, mm -hmm. and then he got onto the show and the he did so horribly swear. And but he was cute still. Like he knew he was all like pudgy and stuff. He but had then, a good heart. But, but yeah, but he, he 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 went through the competition. The only way that he stayed on was because of his fans and because of his mm -hmm. supporters. So, so there. it helped his career. Right it there. helped his, <laughs> his dancing with the stars, stars career. career. <laughs> so definitely not. It helped him. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, mm -hmm. There's a big movie that came out a few years ago. Actually, I think early early of this decade. It's called the Broken Hearts Club, and it picked. Um, they chose all like the hunky actors, like Dean Kane, Andrew Keegan, and they put them in this movie about gay guys. So if you ever had a chance to rent it, it's called the Broken Heart Club. Broken Hearts Club, and it's a really good movie. It's a, it's a comedy, and um, definitely we have dean kane kissing a guy and you know and then i don't think oh and uh, zach braff so i know he was doing uh scrubs or whatever but they mm -hmm. never really talked about that i think it was one of those indie films actually so it wasn't really big too big on advert uh, on on the movie so mm -hmm. um will and grace that was a show sitcom on the in the 90s mm -hmm. very successful will show was straight mm -hmm. but i don't remember him playing any other movies or whatever after that being I mean, straight or being gay or sh whatever i don't i don't I haven't seen him in any movies sean sean hayes that's his name right mm -hmm. oh yeah sean hayes has had a couple like side roles but it's always still that same type of character mm -hmm. but i mean that was a very successful show and i mean it was about a gay guy, and it went far. I mean, it was on for how many years? It's still one of my favorites. Yeah. It's still funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, again, we agree with, you know, all the couples on For a Couple Gays. Just come out, you know. Mm -hmm. 
definitely not going to, it's going to help your career. So mm. famous people just come out. Yeah. Come out. Come just join us. You know, <laughs> we're, we're good people. And, you know, you get a lot of supporters. Mm -hmm. And like um, Chantel and Carrie were talking about earlier this week that even if they do come out and they lose, you know, a certain audience, they gain a big community, mm -hmm. obviously. And, yeah, I don't think that I think they'll gain a lot more if they do come out and, you know, support LGBT mm -hmm. and... Um, and what Kat and Amy were talking about is just, you know, you got, you got Lady Gaga, you got Pink, you know, mm -hmm. you have all these other celebrities who are the supporting, no yeah, the No Hate campaign, that's amazing, last year that, that came out, mm -hmm. and had all different A-listers, different, um, people, uh, different celebrities, you know, even, like, the Kardashians part of it, the mm -hmm. Kardashians were a big like thing everybody. at the moment, yeah, so they participated in that campaign and um yeah it made a really big impact mm -hmm. so hopefully we see some changes but hopefully they could i mean it can lead to legalizing marriage it could lead to equal rights i mean just everyone needs to just come out so i mean it's just all about equality mm -hmm. that's all i think i don't really want to get too political with that just go with like what's in it's in the media, mainstream mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. And oh, I give it up to these kids nowadays. They have so much support, um, depending on where you're from, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, they sh these actors and celebrities should come out so it inspires other people to be bold and mm -hmm. be confident with themselves. And, you know. So people don't have to be scared to come out. Like, just make it more acceptable and just normal mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just got to be a way of life eventually and it's not going to be something that's talked about and made a big deal It'll just be a normal part of everyday life i think yeah just like what monica was talking about the other day how how she was in an interview when mm -hmm. we moved mm -hmm. and um obviously she has her ring on mm -hmm. And what's the question they ask you? They say, oh, you're married. What does your husband do? I'm like, well, my wife. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And it's always like this big apology oh, thing. And it's always assuming I have a husband. And it's just like there's always tons of questions. Like after, like not during the interview. But say like if, I, if a coworker says, oh, what does your husband do? And they'll start guessing. Oh, so how long have you been together? Like it's always... I've never gotten anything negative for it. It's, I mean, I work in a very, I mean, in retail and a cosmetic industry, there's tons of gay guys all the time, but there's maybe, I think I'm still the only lesbian <laughs> <laughs> out of all the, the stores I've worked in. So, I mean, I've never gotten anything bad, even from customers. If I work with a lot of older customers, if I mention I have a wife, oh, Okay, like it's never a negative thing, which is a good sign. I mean, we're making progress. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Or maybe the, your old your customers are so old they can't hear what you say. They can hear. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, since we are the last couple, just come out. Yes. Come out of the bushes. Come out of lurking. And. Well, you know what? It's really Just not anyone's... Just do it for the future of yeah. everybody else. Do it but I think kid. back in the day, mm -hmm. they did it. They they hid because maybe it's really not anyone's business, you know? Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling there's a lot of actors and actresses, celebrities, mm -hmm. who are in the quote-unquote scene. Just come out. Yeah, that'll just make it easier on everybody. All right. Just own it and be proud. Be okay. proud and own it. Yes. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Hopefully, uh, um, we are, you know, we are a good couple to sub for. So <laughs> keep watching. We're happy to be here. Thank you. Subscribe yes. to For a Couple Gays. Mm -hmm. And if also, if you want to subscribe to our channel, it's uh, Gemonic19. So, Jing and Monica. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having us, you guys. All right. I really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for a couple of gays. It's a big 
family, tell everyone, and then tell the celebrities to come out. Yeah, right. thank you. All right, bye. bye.